We're continuing on talking about demons, how the devil, Lucifer, Satan is not one being. They were title, the deceiver, adversary, accuser. And let's get this understood. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about that and about demons. So let's get on with it. Stay tuned till the end. Let's realize complete freedom we have in Christ. Thank you for landing on my channel. For the best teachings on divine healing, hit the subscribe button. Hit that old bell so that you will be notified when I post new content every single week, every single Wednesday. Hey, I'm Tony Myers. I'm an author of four books on divine healing. I was healed from Lou Gehrig's disease, recently featured on the 700 Club, and I have guided thousands to be able to recognize and acknowledge their healing in Christ. With just a few tweaks in your perception, you can be next. So listen to the end. The last two teachings, what we've learned. Satan, the devil, Lucifer, was not a one specific spiritual being. It was any adversary, any accuser, any deceiver. It was a position of authority. It was a title. Lucifer, meaning morning star, was a representation of an angelic host. Pure, point, simple. Okay. I'm going to try to put some honey on this. The devil, same thing. Satan, same thing. There were many names. There were regional powers that were these watchers or that were these spiritual beings, there were. There was a heavenly council made up of sons of God that were part of the heavenly hosts. There were. And then what happened? In Colossians, and having spoiled, which means he took away all their powers. He stripped them of their authority and powers. Principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. This is what I want people to understand. You do not have Satan, one being, whispering in your ear. Lucifer, as a person being, is not coming to you whispering in your ear. The realm of darkness is no longer organized or any of that hogwash. Jesus took care of it. We are now in the new covenant. This is so important because all of these ideas are leading us to believe Jesus did not completely take care of it. Now we have to take care of it. And it really comes down to pride in our humanity instead of relying on Christ, relying on the Holy Spirit, relying on the Heavenly Father. We want to rely on ourselves to take care of this. That is why these teachings are important. That is why so much of our ideal of Satan, 
the devil, all this, is preventing us from simply recognizing what Christ already took out of this world. Because we have such a magnified imagination when it comes to Satan, Lucifer, and all that. Isn't it kind of funny? As a kind of funny that even people that profess to not believe in Christ, even atheists, they love these shows about angels and devils and demons. They love, uh, there's a new series called Lucifer. It fires up the imagination. Jesus took care of it. There is no longer a spiritual principality called Jezebel, which scriptures never refers to a spirit of Jezebel as a regional power or authority. This is just, and I apologize for those I offend, hyped up nonsense. You cannot show me one scripture in the New Covenant where the reflection is a power called, whole, called Jezebel. There's a Jezebelian mentality. This person's actions lines up with the woman called Jezebel. But she was never a spiritual authority. Yet, because we are speaking it, we are believing it, so therefore we are fighting it, and what happens? Not a lot. The truth is what sets us free. So when we get that we are now, we are the sons of God, we are now, we sit on the heavenly council in Christ. The old way of things is done, complete, and over. That was the old ways. God did place these authorities, but he kept Israel for himself. They were not subject to that. And that's a whole nother thing. But this is why I want you to understand. Get out of the brainwash mentality that there is one evil spiritual being that is so powerful that can cause you to be sick. How many places in scripture does it say and this comes from Proverbs 18, 20 through 21. A man's belly shall be filled by the fruit of his mouth, what you speak. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Those that love it eat the fruit of it. You want to know what causes sicknesses and disease? Why am I sick? It's our beliefs, and it's what we speak, it's what other people speak over us. Well, you have this piece of bacon, you're going to get fat. There are so many ways. So back then, we were not looking at one king over the kingdom of darkness. And there's actually numbers and names. And actually in the book of Enoch, it actually mentions the watcher, his name star with S, that was the serpent that, that um, actually was the one that tempted Eve and deceived Eve. And it wasn't Lucifer, the devil, or Satan. Okay. And this was the same one that taught men how to make weapons of war. 
See, it was these watcher angels against God's will that introduced these evil things to mankind. This is what's going on. And so we, because we believe that there's a Jezebel in this area and we got to come against Jezebel. Uh-uh. That's not true. It simply ain't so. Now, that becomes the appearance of the things because how many people believe that and speak that? And that's what we're looking for. That's what we declare over our region, our counties, our cities. How many preachers get up on a Sunday and say, the spirit of so-and-so has a hold over this city. Why are we saying that? We are to speak blessings. I bless this city. Each and every person in this city is blessed. I would much rather hear that than hear something that Jesus already stripped of all their powers, all their authority, their titles, totally stripped. In other words, they have no authority over this physical world whatsoever except we're creating the authority by what we speak. And that's just a glimpse. And that is why I am, I am bringing this to light because how huge these teachings are in the body of Christ. It is as if Jesus did nothing at all. God was not slow to punish the angels. He was swift. The ones that went against his will, there were, according to the book of Enoch, 200 of them came and mated with the daughters of men, to which he quickly disposed of them. God is not just sitting back letting evil happen. And so what I want you to get out of this is that it is completely finished. All we have to do is come into agreement with it. And we don't even have to be focused on all of that. Philippians 4.8 tells us what to focus on, folks. It really does. And nowhere does it say focus on demons. Now, what are we to be aware of? We are to be aware of what? The tactics of the accuser, the adversaries, which is deceit. That's what we are to be aware of. Believing a lie. Now, I believe next week, we're going to get into demons once again and really let's get a full picture, a full image of what these demons are and what they are not and how much truly God has taken care of this for us through Jesus Christ. We are in a new period. The old has passed away. Now we are sons of God. We are sitting on the heavenly council in Christ. We have the power and authority in this physical world. We need to start using it and quit believing lies. God bless you. I have posted the link for my private Facebook group, which is free to join. Just answer three simple questions Inside, you will find exclusive teachings by me. You will also find a free PDF version of my book, Unlocking the Mystery of Divine Healing, and other teachings, including videos 
of me actually teaching from my book and expanding on things. All of this is for members of the private Facebook group, totally free. The link's there. Hit that subscribe button. Click that old bell for new content. Next week, I thought we were going to get into demons today. I didn't really go there. I think we're going to get into that next week. So stay tuned. Thank you, Jesus. Be blessed, be healed, and be a blessing. Thank you.